Okay guys, let's talk about indexes. They're very important. They're the best way to speed up your data, SQL Server database and they're the number one question on all job interviews related to SQL Server, okay? Now an index is a physical structure containing pointers to the data set, okay? And indices are created on a, in an existing table to locate rows more efficiently and quickly in general. It's possible to create an index on one or more columns of the table, okay? That's also known as some, as some people refer that as a composite index or a compound index. Compound indices are available if you're con connecting two unique indices, okay? Now what's the difference between a unique index and a normal non-clustered index? Okay, uh, a unique index allows for a null value. However, everything else within the column has to be unique. Okay, so it's very similar to a pri establishing it as a primary key, otherwise known as a clustered index. Okay, so when you establish a primary key, you establish a clustered index. Okay, on that column. And why is that important? And why is that more powerful than a normal index? That's because it defines how the data is physically sorted when you define an index as clustered. Okay, so what happens when you create an index? What does it actually do? It creates basically a physical copy of that entire column for quick referencing. Okay, so when you make an index, it's going to increase the size of it's in, on, on your on your hard drive or server or whatever by the size of that column. In fact, I think it's 1.2 times the size of that column. Okay, so let's uh, talk a little bit more. Okay, the users can generally not see indexes. Okay, they are just used to speed up queries. Effective indexing is obviously one of the most important ways to increase a database application. Okay, now let's talk about how you identify columns and tables that need to have indices. Indices. Okay, now this is just via the template explorer. Okay, over here on the right. All right, and you guys can can view this too. You just go up to view and then you hit template explorer. Okay, um, and this will give you a sample of what a script looks like to create an index okay but a much easier way if you want to create an index is simply to go down to your table click expand it we have our columns we have our keys okay and this is of course a primary key and this is a alternate key I believe um, and alternate keys I think are keys that are immediately available to be primary keys uh, don't quote me on that though however but let's scroll down to indices okay so let's right click and we can put a new a new index now why would we want to rebuild or reorganize all of our index or one of our indices okay we would want to do that when the index gets mm, when the table itself gets so fundamentally changed that the index that it's been originally created for doesn't necessarily directly correlate to that new data set so it's not as effective all right now you can create jobs in SSIS very easy jobs okay that can um, have a nightly task to rebuild and reorganize all your indices okay now when would it be a bad idea to make indices in my opinion and many others opinion the reason that you would not want to index certain columns is if you're constantly updating that table it's going to take a lot more time to process updates because those indices have to be uh, affected again and your uh, your statistics may need to need to be calculated automatically because of that okay and that can be set up with this when I go to new index all right I have a choice between clustered non clustered primary F XML which you're probably not going to use spatial which you're probably not going to use unless you're using geographic data points and things like that the bread and butter of indexing really is clustered or not clustered okay and you're only gonna have clustered okay when someone asks you a question and some interviewer wants to be really smart and they say they say um, can you only have one primary key on a column they should really you, you can actually check them on this because you can actually have two columns as a primary key okay it's a it's a it's a composite key it's a composite clustered key and I can make that in the table if I go into table design now if I want to go in and make this index let's, uh, let's not make clustered uh, let's just make a non clustered one because I think there's already one on here now do we want to make that unique well is all the data unique if it is then let's make it if not if, 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 if it's if it's Mary Joe Jill and Bob then that can be unique. If it's Mary, Mary, Joe, Jill, and Bob, obviously that can't be unique because there's duplicates in there, okay? So let's just add this and we can choose what we want to include. So right now we are making a composite index. Why? Because we're including more than one column in this index, okay? I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I need to enter a name, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? Put it in there, executing. That is created. As you can see, this is now created. If I want to drop this index, I can. If I want to disable it, I can. Okay. If I want to rebuild or reorganize it, I can. Okay. And you saw, if I want to do a new one, 
you see under options, it automatically recomputes the statistics based on it. However, you need to create statistics on it if they're going to get recomputed. Okay? We can talk about that later. Just go ahead and Google that if you want to talk about creating statistics. That's more associated with um, the database engine tuning advisor. Okay? So you know you run you run the SQL profiler, you export it to a table, then you push that either via table. Uh, via the table that you've exported it to or via the script push that into the database tuning and engine advisor which is an incredible tool and it will tell you if you need to create statistics if it doesn't like the index you've created if you could use an index there and it writes the script for you it's one of the most incredible tools ever okay right now I'm on my home PC with Express and I don't have access to that okay but you know it's the best tool as far as entirely uh, of SQL Server okay um, so let's migrate over to Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about how we find what tables need to be indexed and what tables don't. This is all SANS using the SQL profiler and putting that information based on the activity because the SQL profiler tags basically every piece of activity that your database is facing and encountering and it records it and then when you place that data into the database tuning advisor, it churns out all the recommendations based on that and the structure and design of your database okay so this is just within normal a normal query all right so I just I just went into query designer I just took a bunch of tables in and linked them together okay now I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna include the actual execution plan okay now when I click on that this pops up okay so what is good and what is bad within here okay so um, index seeks are the best okay that means what you're doing is extremely well designed okay index scans are not the greatest but they're still better better than table scans, which are basically one of basically the worst. Okay, that that indicates that there's no indexing of any real design within your your query, i.e., the tables themselves. Okay, because these all these all represent basically tables and joints. Okay, now we can go over into this is going back to the question that I posed about the multiple. Uh, primary keys, so to speak. Okay. Now, of course, you can only can have one primary key, but you can have one primary key that encompasses several columns. So essentially, I mean, it's 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 within a possibility to have you know a ten-column primary key. Okay. Uh, all you do here is you simply just highlight, you just shift highlight, and then you hit the key button. Okay. Now, uh, if you wanted to to really look at it, you just go to indexes and keys. Okay, and these are the different ones. And as you can see here, we have three columns included. Okay, so now this is a composite uh, a primary clustered clustered index or, or or composite primary key. Okay, and let's move now on to. Okay, so now I just pulled in another query and I pulled in the actual result set. Now the final point I want to make is on the decision making process of how to update a column. Okay, so why why do we want to update a column and put an index on it? Okay, what are the what are the best columns to use? Okay, we want data that 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 is very multifaceted. Okay, think social security numbers, think um, product IDs, think um, serial numbers. Okay, um, those are the best types of columns to slap those indexes on. Okay, and you will see a large increase in your speed from this. Okay, and please definitely take a look at the database. Engine Tuning Advisor. It's incredible. It comes stock with SQL Server. Okay, as does all the business intelligence, uh, uh, you know, add-ons. Okay, and you know, for the same platform in, in Oracle or whatever, um, you know, Oracle costs five grand per processor for for, the, for their version of the Database Engine Tuning Advisor. Okay, SQL Server is just as good and one fourth of the price. And uh, it's incredible. So take a look at it and shoot me a message, and I'll send you a response. Thanks.